good morning dear students how are you all i hope you all are fit and fine so today we are going to start the second lesson in our fifth grade english mother tell us a story so we all like stories right and in our country the grandparents the mother grandfathers they are famous they are known for their storytelling skills they will tell the ancient stories historical stories moral stories and we all like stories right so before discussing about this chapter mother tells us a story i want to take you to the tour of africa africa is the world's second largest and second most populous continent after asia africa is known for their different appearance their food culture and a different lifestyle africa is also known for their lands their animals and their greeny forest area and in africa there is a place called zulu land and our second le lesson mother tells us a story stand from zulu land and this is how the zulu land people looks like and their houses looks like here is a hare here is a fanny fox here is a baboon and his family here is a owl here is an elephant here is an eagle here is an turtle Mother tell us a story get started write the names of these characters from some famous children's stories choose from the books snow white pinocchio aladdin cinderella mowgli rapunzel storytelling goes back to ancient times long before writing was invented but where do stories come from Different cultures explain the origin of stories differently. This popular folk tale from Africa describes how a woman found stories for her children. Mother, Mother tell, tell us a story. Manza's children said when they sat around the fire at night. Manza couldn't think of a story, however hard she thought. No one else in the village knew stories. The village where these story-seeking children lived was in Zulu land in Africa. People hunted for meat or tilled the land in the village. Sometimes they fished or caught crabs. The villagers who were clever with their hands wove baskets and made wooden carvings. The cleverest of them was Zenzeli, Manza's husband. He carved birds, trees, plants, flowers and animals. However, he knew no stories. One day Zenzeli told Manza, "Go look for stories." I will look after our home and children. Manza thought it was a very good idea. She packed some food and kissed her children. With a basket on her head and the colorful beads on her dress swaying, Manza set out to look for stories. Uh, you never know who can be of help. Oh, clever hare, she said in a flattering tone. Do you know any stories? My children want to hear stories every evening. Stories? The hare said, "I know millions, but I have more important things to do." So saying, he bounded off. Manza knew he was lying. He had no stories. He was a real trickster. Then Manza met Fanny, the baboon. The further stories. She was playing with her babies. Fanny, she called, "Do you tell your kids stories?" "What are stories?" asked Fanny. I am busy keeping my babies fed and warm. I have no time for anything else. Sighing, Manza went out. She saw an owl in a wild fig tree. "Oh, owl," she called. "Do you have any stories for me to take home?" The owl was upset because his sleep had been disturbed. "You woke me up for stories?" she hooted. Humans cannot live in peace and are always looking for something. 
She grumbled as she settled down and began to nod off again. Manza walked on sadly. She saw an elephant, ears flapping as he ate bananas. Kind elephant, she said. Do you know any stories? My children are hungry for some tales. Where can I look for them? The elephant felt sorry for her. I don't know any stories, he said. But the king of birds, the eagle, flies high in the sky and sees many things others do not. That is a good idea, Manza exclaimed. Thank you. Manza saw the great fish eagle near the mouth of the Tugela River, a river in South Africa swooping down from the sky, talons outstretched to grab a fish. Oh, great eagle, she called. Startled, the eagle dropped the fish he had picked up. He landed on the shore near Manza. What do you want? he asked. Oh, great and wise eagle, Manza said flatteringly, for the eagle was a vain bird. My children are hungry for stories, but we have none. Do you know of any? I can take back to them. Well, the eagle said, feeling important. I am wise, but I only know of things on earth. There is one who knows the secrets of the deep, dark ocean. Perhaps he could help you. I will try and call him for you. Stay here and wait for me. So, Manza waited for the fish eagle to return. Okay, dear student. So, this was our story. Mother tells us a story. Second page of our story. Where we come to know how Manja meet several animals and asking for and seeking for stories. And everyone the responded in a different way. And see, if you notice this lesson, they are telling all the varieties of animals, their habit, how their uh, characteristics are there, how a owl will react, how a fanny fox will react, right? So this is all about the animals we asked to, for the stories. Let's now see the difficult words from this lesson. The first one is fanny. Fanny is nothing. It's a, a variety of fox. Okay. Fanny fox. Second one is sighing. It means whenever you will take a deep breath and lot out for a long means whenever you will say ah. Uh, the feeling when you do not know the answer. Okay, next one is hooted. Hooted means making loud noise while sleeping. Some animals, even human beings also hooted, right? Nod off is again uh, like falling asleep for a short time. During boring lectures, student will nod off. Exclaim means saying something loudly because of anger or surprise. The next one is shopping down. It means coming down suddenly. The eagle coming down suddenly to the Manja. Next one is talons. It means sharp claws. Who have talons? The eagle have talons. The last one is vain. It means proud of oneself. You know, the few people are vain. Means they always like, uh, they want to talk about themselves only. called. I have brought my friend, the big sea turtle. He has agreed to take you to a place where you can find stories. The great sea turtle lifted himself out of the ocean and said in a deep voice, 
climb on my back and hold on to my shell. I will carry you to the land of the spirit people. Manza took hold of his shell and they went into the depths of the ocean. Manza's eyes grew rounder and rounder as they went deep into the ocean. Everything was amazing and beautiful and unlike anything on earth. Finally, they came to the bottom of the ocean, the dwelling of the spirit people. The king and the queen sat on magnificent thrones and their faces shone with such a light that Manza was a little shy and afraid. She bowed before them. What do you want, woman from the dry lands? They asked kindly. Do you have stories that I could take home? Manza asked shyly. We have many stories, they said. But what, what will you give us in exchange, Manza? What would you like? Manza asked. We would like a picture of your home and your people. It would be nice to see that place because we can't go there. Can you bring us a picture, Manza? I can do that, she said. My husband carves beautiful pictures. He will carve a lovely one for you. Manza climbed onto the turtle's shell and he took her back to the shore. She thanked him and asked him to return at the next full moon to collect her and the picture. Then Manza went home and got Zinzeli to carve her a beautiful picture which showed the forest and the river and all the animals and birds on earth. The picture also had the village and all the people in it. When Zinzeli finished it, he wrapped it in a piece of cloth and tied it to Manza's back. Manza climbed onto the turtle's back and they went to the land of the spirit people. The king and the queen of the spirit people were very happy with the picture. For you and your people, they said, we give the gift of stories. They handed her the largest and most beautiful shell she had ever seen. Hold this shell to your ear to hear a tale. Back in the village, her children clamoured. Mother, tell us a story. Manza put the shell to her ear and began. Once upon a time. And that is how stories came to be. <laughs>